This is the new iPhone 5 and it is running iOS 6.0.2 which is the most current version of the operating system as of today. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your network settings in iOS 6. Now, you may be asking, why would I need to do this? Well, if you've ever had a problem with your network connectivity, if your 3G goes out, if your 4G goes out or whatever, Sometimes you'll want to take it to the store and get them to take a look at it and the very first thing they typically do is reset your network settings. Well, instead of taking that trip to the store, why not reset the network settings yourself so you can save yourself that trip? And if it works, great. If it doesn't, then you can take further steps, which usually consists of calling tech support. But at least you can do this first without having to make a trip out to your carrier store. Now the steps that I show you today should work with all versions of the iPhone that are running iOS 6. So if you're not running iOS 6 then this may or may not work for you depending on how current your version is. First what we're going to do is go to settings then we're going to go to general and then we're going to scroll all the way down and you'll see reset right here on the bottom. Now you'll see reset all settings, erase all content and settings, reset network settings which is the third one down. Don't touch either one of the two at the top because you will completely erase everything on your phone. That's just a fair warning. Hit reset network settings. This will tell you this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Hit Reset Network Settings. Give it a minute. It's going to take probably about a minute and a half to go through the entire setup. Now you'll see up in the top it's searching for the network. It'll say no service. And it'll finally show you your 3G or 4G or whatever. Go ahead and come in here. And you are now back up and running. Now I'm going to give you a fair warning just so you're not surprised when this happens. Uh, you're going to have to go back into your, your local Wi-Fi, like if you have Wi-Fi at your house, uh, you're going to have to go back in and uh, put your login name or password or whatever to connect back to that network. But other than that, uh, you should be pretty much ready to go. If this works, then you don't have any more troubles. If it doesn't work, then you're going to need to call your your local carrier's tech support. But this is always their first step. If you like this video, please hit like in the comments below. If you have anything to add to this, please put them in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the button up here or maybe it's down here depending on what uh, internet browser you're looking at. So happy iPhoning.